Hello, good morning and assalamu alaikum YouTube. I'm Avim Ashwak and here I'm with another video about how to tune your carburetor and your timing so that you get a very good mileage. So what is a very good mileage? For me, I get uh, 20 kmpl in the city and 24 kmpl on the highway. I get 24 k uh, 20 kmpl in the city when I'm driving alone and without AC and uh, when I'm mostly in second and third gears. Without any form of traffic jams, I get 20 kmpl and uh, on highway when I'm going with my family, that is when it's fully loaded or even when it's partially loaded, when you have the AC turned on. I get 24 kmpl roughly about that sometimes I do get 22 kmpl sometimes when I go non AC single I get up to 26 kmpl so if you want to get that what should you do you're going to learn in this video before we get started though you have to see how uh, Maruti 800 actually starts this is a cold start video this is just to give you a rough idea of how quickly Moriti 800 should start on, uh, uh, I mean, a Moriti 800 with carburetor should start on a cold morning. So, let me show you the parameters that I'm running. Uh, uh, so, it's a completely cold start condition. That is, if you can see, the time is 6, 7 a.m., uh, which means that I haven't uh, started my car yet until now. So, it's early in the morning. It's the first crank I'm trying to do for the day. So let's see how it goes. So I put my keys. And this is how quickly the Maruti starts. So even when the cold air temperature outside is 25 degrees Celsius or so. Uh, whenever you crank the engine, it should start off within a uh, very few time, that is, uh, it should start. If you have difficulties, it means that your carburetor tuning is wrong and you have to take care of that. The first step to do your carburetor tuning is to take your air filter off. So, we take off the two screws and remove the air filter so that we can start with our business. So, I take a size 10 wrench. So I take it and I remove the top screw and similarly there is another screw here which uh, there is another screw over here which you need to loosen so that you can remove the air filter. I mean 2x, 3x, 4x. Touch to capture. Touch to capture. I just focus on the After you remove your air filter, the first step is to go and adjust the carburetor fuel air mixture screw. So you have to go to the back here and locate this screw. I hope you can see the screw. So this screw is a screw which adjusts the fuel air mixture, how much fuel should go for how much air. So what you do is you completely tighten it like so until it no longer goes further in, no matter how hard you try. So I think this is the full tight position and then you start unscrewing it. So I'm going to unscrew it. So this is half. This is one, Sec uh, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four. So I've done uh, four anti clockwise rotations. That would be the ideal place to have your fuel air mixture. If you have some trouble, you can try fiddling around, you can try unscrewing it a bit more. After you fiddled around with that screw, now it is time to adjust another screw at the front. So if you look at here, you have another screw at the front. So what you have to do is let it be fully tight. It most probably will be fully tight. So from there, 
open it one end of rotations so that is one and this is one and a half so remove that screw one and half rotations so that there is optimum mixture of fuel and air even in the other holes that you are supposed to have inside a carburetor then you are ready to go now if you find that your idle of your car is either too high or too low you have to go and adjust your idling screw your idling screw is going to be here so this is your carburetor you have this accelerator wire this is your choke wire and just beside the choke wire you have this screw it has a plus Phillips connection and it also has this design over here so if you open this screw as I'm turning it now if you open this screw it means that your idle becomes lesser and as you tighten the screw it means that your idle is going to be higher so adjust this screw to your liking to check whether everything is set and done you have to check whether you have fuel coming back so as the petrol comes in it comes in through the petrol pump and comes into the carburetor and the, car, uh, the petrol coming in is always going to be excess so some petrol is rejected back into the fuel tank and this is your fuel rejection line if you open this look at the stream of petrol so if you have this much stream of petrol it means that your carburetor is tuned perfectly if you are not getting any petrol return from the petrol return line then don't hurry into opening the carburetor first you might try adding some petrol uh, cleaner that is fuel injector cleaner into your petrol tank and run it for around 100 kilometers and uh, if uh, that too doesn't work then go ahead open your carburetor and clean it so that is how you tune your carburetor now we are going to tune your spark distributor timing so that the spark comes in at the right time to do that uh, sorry, this is done in order that the spark comes at the right time so that you have the perfect burning. To do that, you have your traditional method which I told you in a couple of videos ago or else there is the new updated shortcut method. For that, the first step is to remove your spark distributor over here. So, you come here, you open your spark distributor and look at the position of your spark distributor. It is pointing this direction. You uh, will now put the car in fourth gear and remove the handbrake and start pushing it until it rotates and comes to about near about this place. Okay, so now that it is pointing to uh, here, uh, roughly in this direction, so now it's time to push the car back and forward so that you can see the marking inside the flywheel. Now make sure that the indicator that you have matches the marking on the flywheel. And now put the car in neutral and put the handbrake back on. With your marking in place, now it is time to turn and keep the ignition on. When your ignition is turned on, now it is time to remove this plug that leads to the distributor. Uh, now that you remove the plug, it's time to loosen this distributor cap. So use a size 12 wrench and loose this up so that it will rotate. Now put it close to your uh, air filter and uh, put it close to your air filter and start moving this in either direction until you hear the sound of a spark. Uh, once you start hearing the spark, stop there and that is the position where you have to put and tighten the bolt back and 
once everything is done and it works perfectly then you too are going to get a, a mileage of around 20 kmpl in the city and 24 kmpl on the highway the reasons for not getting such mileage would be if uh, uh, can be diagnosed by looking at your fuel return pipe as i've shown you look at the stream of petrol that goes back into my tank if you don't have a stream of petrol that goes back into your tank then you're not going to get mileage because the fuel return may be blocked and all that petrol coming in might be vomited into the engine so you'll face starting troubles you'll face every kind of trouble then it is time for you to open the carburetor and clean it